Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace video. Today, I'm going to be covering the best free assets released on the Unreal Engine Marketplace in August 2024. And before anyone says it, because I always get to comment every time I do one of these videos, yes, I know it's September. However, these are the best released last month. I obviously have to make it this month because I have to wait for the month to end before all the assets are released so I can then make a video on it. So this is the best assets released that are free on the marketplace released last month. If you're watching this in the future, they might not be free anymore. I'm not sure, I can't guarantee that, but as of making this video, they are free. So without further ado, let's get right into it, starting with Nude Interact. So if you have the need to enrich your project with versatile interactions, then this asset is perfect for you, as this plugin makes it easy to integrate a broad range of interactive functionalities, offering both simplicity and depth to enhance your game's interactivity. So some of the key features of this are you have diverse interaction types. So it supports four main interaction types. These being by just overlapping it, it will interact. Or if you press a button, for example, E, and you're just overlapping it. Or if you're overlapping it, you press button, but you also have to be looking at it. Or just if you want to have to look at it. So these are basically any kind of way you'd want to be able to interact, this covers. This also features conditional handling, so it manages all conditions under which interactions are allowed, ensuring gameplay integrity and logic consistency. This also is incredibly easy to integrate, so it's a single component that attaches to seamlessly to any interactable object, enhancing flexibility and ease of use. There is also a hint text feature, so this provides hint text for overlapping interactables, which guides players and enhances user experience. There is also dynamic event binding, which allows the component to bind to other actors, responding to interaction events dynamically. And there's also extensive examples that come with this pack, so you can see everything this offers without having to make it first, and they are all multiplayer ready as well, demonstrating the component's full functionalities. So this has five blueprints and one C++ class, and like I say, it is network replicated. And next up is the hard lock target. And this is a Souls-like target hard locking camera system. So the technical details of this are it works with both C++ and Blueprints. You can use any widget class you want as a lock indicator. You can have hard lock specific sockets, so you don't have to enter the socket names as well. There are responsive target switching in four directions. It automatically makes sure the player doesn't obstruct the camera view. It also automatically handles vertical aligned targets. There is, you can customize the basic behavior and it's actually quite simple and easy to set up. So there's not much else to talk about this. It is what you'd expect. It is a nice camera lock system for combat. There are two C++ classes in this, and this is not network replicated. However, this doesn't need to be network replicated for what it is. But this looks absolutely great. This has six five-star reviews as well. And next up, we have AGRV. And AGR is the Advanced Game Resources, and it's the successor to the AGR Pro framework, continuing to deliver quality, reliable, and performant multiplayer gameplay. So this is a powerful and versatile suite of components and tools designed to streamline the development of complex gameplay mechanics in Unreal Engine. This is built on years of experience and community-driven feedback, and this introduces the advanced systems for locomotion, inventory management, and projectile mechanics, all with a focus on multiplayer performance and scalability. So this features locomotion and animations, inventory and equipment, projectiles and projectile launcher, and a function library. And the code modules are core runtime, animation runtime, projectile runtime, and inventory runtime. There are zero blueprints in this as it's all 18 C++ classes. And obviously this is network replicated. So again, the main components are locomotion, which drives the character rotation and aim offset with extreme precision, ensuring smooth, jitter-free animations, even in first-person perspectives. The inventory is a system that which combines inventory and equipment management into a single efficient component, and this features custom serialization and replication for seamless multiplayer performance. You also have projectiles, which includes a projectile launcher as well as projectile components, and this offers a robust system for spawning and managing projectiles with custom penetration and bounce logic. It also supports homing, physical material interaction, and physics sub-stepping, ensuring realistic and performant projectile behavior in any multiplayer setting. And then finally, they've also got the function library, which is an ever-growing library of utility functions designed to streamline common game development tasks. So some of the current features include functions for camera and cursor aim calculations, component retrieval, 
angle calculations for hit reactions and ricochets, and velocity-based rotation determination. So once again, I think this one looks great. This has seven five-star reviews, and this is obviously really good if you want to make a nice, seamless, and smooth multiplayer experience. However, at the moment, this is only supported in Unreal Engine 5.4, which is obviously the latest version. Now, we also have the better blueprint tool nodes, and this is the free version. So this is obviously a full version as well, which will be paid if you wanted that. But this adds a task list link nodes into your blueprints. So the free version gives you access to the task list nodes, and it's limited to blueprint graphs. However, the full version lets you create custom nodes using the UMG from the editor. So this free version features custom blueprint nodes from the editor that you can create. You can add in images from assets. You can create links using URLs or asset references. You can create notes using rich text. You can create a summary node that lists all comment nodes for fast access. You can also create a task list, which is a task node to create and complete tasks with a progress bar. And you can also create a web page to display online docs and tutorials all from within a blueprint. So you can basically kind of consolidate everything into your blueprint and make writing notes and comments a lot easier for you if that's something you think you need in Unreal. So this has one blueprint class and seven C++ classes. I think this looks quite cool. It's quite an interesting plugin, which is why I've added it on here. And I think a lot of people could find this very useful as well. And finally, last but not least, we have the generic effects system. And this allows you to play any sound effect or VFX based on different context for any things that requires feedback, for example, footsteps, melee impacts, and much more. So this features easy integration. So you can add one component to your character and that is it integrated perfectly done. It's also data driven. So you can use data assets to configure different sound effects and special effects that will be played under different contexts using gameplay tags. There is also an automated footstep setup. So through the animation modifier, it's possible to automatically position the feet of the character and configure the anim notifier of play context effects. This has high adaptability. So in addition to being used in footstep systems, you can also apply it to any place where different sounds and special effects need to be played according to different situations, such as melee impact. This has a simple API. So a simple blueprint call can trigger sounds and effects, and it is also highly flexible. So you can dynamically play different VFX and SFX on different physical material surfaces based on the context of gameplay tags. You can automate footsteps with VFX and SFX setup, and there's no need to hard reference many assets in the animation sequence as well. In this, there are 10 blueprints, which are animation modifiers and notifiers and some sample files, and 10 C++ classes, and this is also network replicated. So once again, I think this one looks absolutely great, and obviously all the ones I mentioned on here are free, so you may as well try them out, see if you like them, see if you don't, because you're not gonna lose any money by doing so. But with that, I think that'll be it for this video of me covering the best free assets released on the marketplace in August, 2024. Obviously there were quite a few other ones released as well, but these are the ones which I found to look the best and stand out from the others as well. And obviously I'll link all of these in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful of me just covering these different assets that I found on the marketplace for you to see and maybe even try out for yourself. And if you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.